Guess I don't have to go quite so far out this time. Oh. Anywhere there's snow, I can go. Hey, look at that. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Up, up, and away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to trim now. I'm not sure what it's like, what it's if anything. It's a little bit of extra lift, but that's yeah, about it. Lift the nose a bit on you. That's about it. Nothing to even bother trimming about. I found my uh, elevator down trim, or forward trim, is uh, starting to fail on me. Why is that? They've been known to do that, I think, from what I've heard, on the DX6s. Nice. That's fun. Remember Mike Allen? No Mike? Uh, not yet. Uh, he borrowed my Aftermaster because he had nothing to fly one year and he put about 300 plates on it. Oh wow. He used his own motor. Yeah. I'll give it back, all it had was one little crack in the fuse. But he had skis on, almost identical to that. Yeah. But he'd run it around, he wouldn't even lift it off the ground. <laughs> He's flying around like that in half a day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, yeah. No, I would say that's not gone for a first try. This plane is so nice to fly. It's because my thumbs are frozen to the sticks. I know, it's great. It's a beautiful day. Uh, there was once we had a World War One contest and everybody had skis on their planes. Really? That would be fun to see. About a foot of snow and everybody walked out to retrieve their plane. They got so many footprints on the runway that the skis wouldn't work. Oh no! That is plain old fun. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Swath to make the snow like two inches deep. Uh huh. And everybody used that to take off. <laughs> oh yeah. Working. You could almost roll it, I suppose, if you had your uh, roller on still. Well, that would make it harder, yeah, I suppose. Hard. 